20 hyenas running through the herd of zebra and tails up, excitement going. What is going on? Is it a clan war? I can't see any kill around here. And we know there's more hyenas down in the dip. Could there be an invasion into different clan territory? Look at this, isn't this incredible? Look at these hyenas, it's like, like an army. I think this is, this is going, oh, see, look, I don't know if that's the same clan down there. Um, Chantal, we might get ready for Facebook, because um, just in case. If that is a different clan, this could get very, very gruesome. Now, hyenas during clan wars, by the looks of things, it is a different clan. I'm not going to go right down into the, into the drainage, um, because it is one of those places where gremlins live. But we've got a really nice view from up here. Okay, Chantal, when you're ready. Now, it is, it's definitely, we're on the boundary of two clans. So, th there was an, a, an invasion, and now a retreat. Now, this is really interesting behavior. This is not something you get to see every day. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We look like we have clan wars going on here. Two separate hyena clans right on the peripheries of their territories. There must be 30 or 40 hyenas. And at the moment, they're sort of feeling each other out. Some charge in, others charge out. But sometimes these clan wars can get very, very aggressive. See, there we go. Now running back. So obviously this little, little dip valley here is the boundary between two different hyena clans. Now, I know the name of the clan that is off to the, at the bottom. Um, I think they're called the Happy Valley Clan. I'm not sure of the clan that's closest to us. But it's a bit of a standoff at the moment. Now, hyena wars can be very, very brutal. But at the moment, they just seem to be eyeing each other out. Here we go. You can see the separate, clan, the different clan down at the bottom of the valley. And quite surprisingly, um, you would expect this to, to come with a lot of noise. But at the moment, it's actually very, very quiet. They're not vocalizing at all. Anna Maria says, I've never seen this before. It is a really, really unusual behavior to see. It, and it normally happens in the dead of night. So actually getting it in the day. And there seems to be a bit of a standoff between the two clans at the moment. Oh, there we go. Having another charge. This looks a bit more serious this time. The clan at the bottom are, are retreating. Eduardo wants to know, will there be a death? Quite possibly, Eduardo. Um, if they do manage to catch an, a member. Oh, there we go. The clan we're with is, is pushing the others across the valley. Now, this is where confusion might happen when the two clans get mixed up. This is absolutely fascinating. Sweet History is saying, how do you tell who is who? Well, Sweet History, it's probably uh, from smell. Look at that. So it's a very much to and fro. Now, they retreated. Now the others are retreating. Now, it looks like they, they, they don't want to get to that sort of aggressive fighting stage. Uh, because no one wants to get injured or hurt. Um, but this could just be uh, a proper standoff, uh, sort of on the border. Uh, you come across here, you're in trouble. But if you come across here, you're in trouble. So they keep chasing each other to and fro. Now, see what's happening now is they're smelling the scent mark from the other, other clan. James is wondering... Um, who will be leading the respective armies? It will be the high-ranking females, uh, matriarchs, her daughters, and other high-ranking females. Um, Low-ranking females would probably just get out of here. And with, oh, there we go. We got, we're having a, ooh, almost another advance. 
I must say, the, the numbers of the clan on the other side of the valley are, seem to be quite a lot less than the clan on our side, but they are definitely standing their ground. This is incredibly interesting behavior. Now we're on the retreat again. We've had a sniff. We've uh, pasted on top of other people's scent marks. Uh, now let's, he let's head back into our territory, it almost looks like. So this is very much a marking of the boundaries. Stace says hyenas are so beautiful and fascinating. Indeed they are. They have such complex social structures. Oh, the ones at the bottom are, are rushing in now to go scent mark where the others have just scent marked. So you can see them there, sniff, 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 sniff. And look at this, they're just retreating. Like, okay, we've made our point. Wait, we're all stopping, let's have a look now. Have a look back down the valley. Golden Girl is wondering what would make them suddenly take on another clan. Well, it's difficult to say. So the hyena boundaries um, are a lot less porous than the big cat boundaries. It's just very much a solid boundary of scent um, with very little leeway on either side. And I think possibly if, if another clan came too close to a den or, or really tried to take over another clan's territory, um, that would lead to an actual battle. Let me just reverse quickly for Ferg here. So I think that's the boundary of that clan. And now this clan is back on their boundary. So there's probably about 100 meters or so in between. You can see all the scent marking and, and anal pasting going on now. And they're marking the, the, the boundary of their territory. That was it's, it's incredible. Now, are they going to storm back down uh, towards the other clan? Or is the other clan going to storm back, storm up towards where we are? And it's surprisingly silent because hyenas are very vocal animals. Sheppy, absolutely, he says, absolutely amazing what a scene. It is. Now, I've only ever seen this under the cover of darkness. I've never seen such a, a, a prominent clan sort of display from two different clans during the light. It's actually amazing to be able to see. You can see how windy it is with all the dust um, from the scent marking. I'm trying to keep an eye on both clans at the moment. So the other clans came up, almost up to the, uh, came halfway up the hill, and now they're retreating back um, to what is probably their boundary. Now we don't know how long this has been going on for, but we, I think it just just started because those hyenas we saw in the distance, they were all just having a nap down in the valley, and then suddenly this 15 or 20 came streaming across the hill we're sitting on and headed towards them, and now. Carrying on with the scent marking, but with a lot, there's a lot less excitement than when we initially saw them. Oh, that was absolutely fascinating. It looks like this clan has now decided, well, apart from that one, who's not ready to finish scent marking just yet. You go, you go. You go, hyena. But the other clan members, a lot of them are retreating. Both the clans are retreating back. Wasn't that absolutely incredible? Now, that's the first time I've ever got to see, sorry, Fig, I'll get back for you now, something like this um, in, in daylight hours. I mean, it's mid-morning here, and these hyenas are just behaving incredibly. Remember, this is 100% live. Oh, no. Look at this. Again, now all of a sudden, something's triggered. They're excited again. Are they char they're going to charge back down the hill? It is 
Smith's wondering how far do clans den apart? Um, generally, you'll find that the, the the dens are right in the center of their, their 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 territory, so as far from the boundary as possible. So it all depends on the clan territory size, but probably a good good couple of kilometers, five to ten kilometers away from each other. It's almost like, are we going to charge? Are we? Aren't we? There are. Louise is wondering, would it be uncommon for clan members to change sides? Yes, Louise, it's very, very rare. And it's normally only the males that will disperse, but they will leave alone. They won't leave from a group like this. Uh, of course, all the blood's up. Let me just try to get a little bit further to the left here. You can see down. We're just gonna have a look if they if they're gonna charge back down the hill. My least would like to know how many do I think there are. So next to us, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 in this group and uh, in this this clan. Let me just get my binoculars and I'll have a look at the other clan. The other clan, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 19 um, so very evenly matched numbers uh, 20 so they're actually 20 20 so maybe that's why um, oh, I can hear some very strange soft vocalization the wind is quite strong so it's quite difficult to sort of a They start vocalizing they could get themselves going into a frenzy Jono if you like so are these clans larger than regular clans the Mara hyena clans are massive um, they can go up to uh, over a hundred individuals in a clan um, so yes they are larger than most places of Africa oh, See, that little bit of vocalization seemed to have changed the mood again. Tails are up. And you can see there's definitely two very distinct clans here. And from the behavior, I would say we're sitting. Right, ooh, I think we're getting more numbers now. One, two, three. So these guys have upped their numbers. Some more hyenas have come in from behind us. So now they have a, numer a numerical advantage. Is that going to lead them to actually take a full charge at the other clan? Only four more. going to end off in another standoff or are they going to make a foray across the boundary let's get a bit closer now I'm, I'm purposely staying up and away so we don't interfere and we're just watching everything unfold and uh, the wildebeest have done us a, a great favor by grazing this grass nice and flat so we can see Cheryl is wondering would the head of the clan or the matriarch fight most definitely the matriarchs and higher ranking females are more aggressive and will generally lead the attack but it looks like we're having another standoff across the valley at the moment and it does seem to be dying down slightly but the others are moving up to be opposite uh, the clan on our side. It's hard to choose sides, yeah? Which, who's cl which clan on side are you on, Ferg? Side. Our side is. Uh, just because we're on this side, I think we'll support this clan. 
So the clan, if I, yes. That I think is the opposite clan, is the Happy Valley clan. Well, Simon uh, has got the spot on hashtag epic. I mean, this is incredible. As I say, you do not see stuff like this. And especially not in, da in daylight. Stace says, these are all the members, right? Probably not, Stace. Um, there could be other members that are quite far. Uh, this older members, yes. Oh, so older, not all. Yes, I don't see any sub-adults, and uh, the sub-adults would have done a very fast disappearing act at the first sign of clan wars. Okay, so here we go. The others from the other side are making an approach again. See more reinforcements coming in one at a time. Are we gonna give it a few more minutes? I think if it's going to boil over, it's going to be very soon as the numbers swell on our side. There's a, a, ours are approaching the ones at the bottom of the valley. Tails are up. And I think those bolstered numbers. Okay, here comes a charge from our side. It looks like they've managed to put the other clan to, to tail. Here they go. Now this is where stuff might change. Look, they're gonna they're gonna actually almost get right into the other clan. The other clan's running now. But again, it's just testing that boundary. Now will we have a retreat again? Yep, now we're in full retreat. The other clan is charging. Oh, the wind is incredibly hard at the moment. Now, Shamsung's wondering, are these all females? No, there will definitely be males involved as well. Oh, there we go, now, we, now our clan's charging again. This looks a little bit more serious. This is the first time they've actually crossed the valley floor. And there we go, the other clan charging back. Oh, and now that other clan's in retreat again. This is absolutely fascinating. And we've got over 40 hyenas doing the dance the up and down dance oh there we go someone's nearly got caught off on the side oh no then charge back oh go go far left fig that almost looked like one got separated and i don't think you want to be separated now i'm not sure who's who it's all got a bit messy all the clans are intermingled now this is where violence might happen if they can manage to catch a single one in a group of, of the others. This is incredible behavior. Kayleen wants to know if one from the other one manages to grab another, will it set the others off? Almost certainly. Um, hyenas are very much. Ex Oof, they're starting to make noise. So this this is getting a little bit more serious now. The more excited they get, the more of this running up and down there is, the more likely there is to be a fight. Now remember, this is a hundred percent live, coming to you from the Maasai Mara in Kenya. Laura says, this is like a rugby game, the to and fro. Now, are we retreating again? Yes, there's a retreat. Our side is retreating and the other side is taking advantage. They're pushing them. Now, could this be a ploy to get, yes, I thought so, to get them closer? You can see there's a little bit more seriousness in some of these chasing. Wow, look at her go. Oh, then she realized, oh, she's by herself. Let's go back for reinforcements.
This is just incredible. Marissa says, this is almost comical. I actually have to agree with you there, Marissa. At the moment, it's sort of this toing and froing, but I have seen hyenas fight with each other, and uh, it can turn very bloody and very serious in a split second. But I would say our side's winning, Ferg. They, they're pushing the others further and further across the valley. just pandemonium in there. Kelsey would like to know, how does the rest of the clan know that there's a fight brewing so they come in and help? I'm um, from vocalizations. So the hyenas have a lot of vocalizations. About 80% are made by low ranking or males and are completely ignored. But 20% of those vocalizations made by high ranking females will bring the clan streaming in. Okay, now we're retreating again. Kelly is wondering, do they fight to the death? Um, indeed, Kelly. If, 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 if it does get to teeth, um, the hyenas are, will show no mercy with each other. There we go. Now, owls are retreating. The others are charging. But not, not with the same vigor. Now, unfortunately, the wind is quite strong, but the vocalizations have started now. So they're starting to get a little bit more excited. And of course, those sounds, if I can hear them, hyenas hearing is so much better than mine. It must be bringing in other clan members from both sides. Maybe it was just an attempt to steal an extra 200 meters of territory because now it looks like the Happy Valley clan from the other side are trying to make their escape. So Lauren from Illinois is wondering what makes them move forward in retreat. It'll be um, exciting. They get each other very excited hyenas, but oh, this almost looks like a full retreat now from the Happy Valley lot. But uh, so the reason they haven't actually clashed yet, as I said, the clans are of similar size uh, in terms of numbers at the moment uh, that are involved in the battle, but they really don't want to get hurt. So if, if they can either escape without fighting or dominate and take over territory without fighting, that is a, the, the best winning situation um, for, for both clans. Looks like our side won, Ferg. Uh, what should we call them? I think it's uh, the Purungut clan, as we are quite close to the Purungut bridge. Oh, we've got the Purungut pride already. Oh no, so we can't do that. Bridge clan. Bridge clan. How's that sound, Ferg? Oh, the Safari Live clan. No, no, I think it was sick. The Clunky clan is that's from Alex and FC. So it looks like our side has won and it is, it is calming down. They've managed to get probably about 200 meters of territory. Um, we are going to sit here a little bit longer to see if it escalates again. Uh, and if it does keep an eye on those Facebook notifications, we will go live again. And um, so it's been great having you with us. So keep an eye on those Facebook notifications. Uh, we, we can't wait to show you what other wonders the Mara has to offer. So goodbye for now.